Uh, hi guys, so this is again a, a project update. So uh, after my previous video, a lot of uh, uh, people gave me very good advice, so I implemented some. But um, I'm still testing on the system. So I thought uh, instead of waiting for me to finish all the testing and whatnot, I can actually release all the 3D printed parts like the, the uh, cover, the uh, battery cover and uh, all the rails and the muzzle okay uh, at the meantime uh except for the uh, flywheel and cage of course so today basically i just want to uh show you all all the different uh, 3d printer parts and what i can do but anyway okay after i do some implementation basically i also uh, make the uh, revving down a lot longer yep so anyway, today basically I just want to show all the uh, 3D parts and uh, they will be available in my uh, Thinkiverse account. Yeah, let me just... Uh, so, first of all is basically the... Uh, oops. The uh, battery compartment over here. So, so it, uh, it comes in two parts. So let me just take out the battery anyway. So there is a place for you to put the uh, so-called the screw close the uh the two parts together so this is basically the the uh, the screw that we use for the strive uh, battery case from the uh the other side so we take it out this is one part of it so basically it's printed this way and there is a place for you to put a 3m uh the uh nut over here so that uh later on you can uh you know when you screw up it's uh you'll line up nicely over here now, um, I've not tried if you don't have the nut. I think it still works, but uh, uh, it'll be better if you have the nut. So, of course, the, this is the uh, battery compartment. Okay, for you to house a big battery. Okay, like this one over here. So, for this guy over here, uh, basically, you just print it upright like this. Okay, this is the bottom. You print it up without any support. So, over here, basically, your 3D printer should be able to breach the gap. And uh, if there's any like a uh, not very even kind of printing, it's actually underneath, so nobody will get to see it. So to uh, attach it to the uh, strife itself, basically, uh, this battery, I'm not going to take it out. Uh, there's this part over here, whereby, you know, it's something like this. So uh, basically, this is, I print it out, I just slice and then just print out one layer. So that there are actually three holes over there, whereby you can line up to your strife. So let me just get Right. So for example, you can line up here, okay, and then uh, you can mark the mark the three holes and then uh, drill it from the inside. Now one thing to take note of is you want to position it such that when you place this guy over here, you still have access to this uh, screw port over here as well as this two screw port over here, so that you can still close your uh, blaster. All right, that's one. By the way, all these uh, will be in the thing givers in uh, one, just one, under one uh, um, item, right? So the next is basically this, uh, uh, maybe I'll just talk about this uh, battery case. So the, over here now, I use it to house all the Arduino stuff and uh, there's an on-off switch over here. And uh, it, it is basically a battery case. So uh, there's a hole over here as a, and there's a hole over here for, for the wire to come off and then route to the other side and then for you to house a micro switch. But I know that uh, not everyone will want to use it with all the holes. Uh, you, mm, some might want to use it with a, as a regular battery case. So basically I post out four versions uh, because uh, during the modification I created two kind of uh, height. Okay, because I realized I need a slightly uh, taller one so that it's easier for me to fit things so there are actually two two variation of height one is uh, lower one is uh, taller and then uh, uh, basically for both both of them uh, some will have the uh, hole for the switch and the, the wires uh, the other one will be uh, just like a normal battery case for anyone who want to use it that way okay so over here is a uh, stock So uh, 
as you can see for the uh, mod itself because I rock the wire from here and then all the way to here to the battery case so I need something to hold it so I, I, I don't want it to be internal so I put it something like this so you can still you know shove this in and you can still have a stock extension if you really want to okay so uh, take it out so for this guy over here uh, there are two holes one over here one over here so uh, depending on how how you decide you want to uh, implement it you can uh, basically is to help you to secure this uh, this attachment over here so likewise uh, inside it uh, there is another nut that correspond to that hole so uh, it'll be pretty secure so you can just take it out and then you'll be like this yeah so look like this okay and then the wire basically go through here so for to print this uh, again you print it this way okay like that print it up like that okay so the um the place i put some support is basically for this gap over here just a very little support and then uh some somewhere over here so over here uh you do not need any support okay as you can see or uh inside basically your printer will be able to breach it um across although it's not going to be very smooth inside but uh, uh nobody's going to get to see it anyway so there's no no need to put a support over here just basically uh, this this area over here as well as uh, this area over here so that will be the uh, attachment at the back okay so let's move on um let's move on to okay so this this attachment over here is uh, my previous uh, design is the uh, strife uh, heel so um basically you can just uh, split it and then you take it you split into half so uh, that i will not remove um next maybe i'll talk about the uh, motor cover itself so uh, the motor cover itself i wanted something that uh, i can just remove as and when i like i i wish to so now I do it such that you have uh, ways to put in your screws so if you were to remove it okay from the outside sorry okay you do not need to uh, dismantle the browser okay so these are 2.5 I believe 2.5 M uh, screws okay uh, so you only need three of them <coughs> and uh, again um, the, the the other end you have the uh, corresponding uh, nut over at the other side so that you can uh, screw it in easily and uh, remove and uh, install it uh, multiple times if you if you wish to so I guess uh, there is some advantage where I know you can just open it up okay I can cut cut the the hole uh, wider if I want to so uh, it comes like this so again for me to position it I just um, print a small area out just something like this okay then I position to the position of my choice then I can mark the, the spot and then I can drill through it yeah so so when you want to print this thing uh, over here so you print it this this side up okay without support as well uh, no support required so once you printed out you the four uh, the four holes are actually uh, uh, you won't get to see the hole over here uh, uh, you'll look something like this okay so even if you do not want to uh, so-called um, uh, attach it with a screw from the outside is it, it will still looks fine because you will see the hole so in order to, to drill through the hole basically you have four small holes over here then uh, if you need need to you just use this kind of uh, hand hand screw and you can just screw it it's a very thin layer one mm i i i think okay then uh of course then you can put your screw so if you want to uh implement such that no you don't want to remove it from the outside you can from the inside just secure it with some screw or uh, that that'll be it and then uh you can still use it okay so this is uh this side okay let me just sort of put things back so that we're not lost the uh the attachment okay so let's look at the other side 
Okay, so this is the motor cover. So like, uh, it, it looks similar. Okay, so this time around, I just want it to uh, look similar. So again, uh, you, you can see when you print out, you don't get to see the hole actually. So for this guy, you don't have the hole to secure. So what I did is I do it on top and uh, the bottom. Okay, so you can still remove. I think this time around, this this screw that I use, uh, it's basically up to you. You can find the the the, the choice that is uh, that that you have. Okay, <coughs> I think this for this side I use a M3 uh, screw and nut. Okay, so it's a bit. <laughs> It's a bit long. Uh, this is when you wish you have the uh, those electronic uh, screwdriver <laughs> instead of uh, doing it uh, yourself this way. <coughs> uh, okay. Okay, this side should be enough. Now it's just the other side. So uh, basically, I just want it this way so that I can uh, remove the cover, maybe uh, do some cleaning or something like that. So once you once you release, of course, you can uh, just remove it. Okay, and then uh, you have the uh, corresponding nut inside to receive the uh, screw. Something like that. All right. So we have the two uh, motor covers. Okay. So now let's maybe talk about the uh, top piece over here. So the top piece over here, <coughs> uh, it takes two screws. You can use the M3, uh, but I think I use a, a small lock nut. So I'm just gonna release it this side and. Okay, then uh, you just come off, All right? So over here, so uh, so this guy, mm, I have designed such that it comes in two pieces. Okay, one line across top. So basically, it's two pieces. So the bottom piece you just print it flat like this, and then of course the top piece you print it uh, flat like this, facing up. Right then, once you got the two pieces, you basically just super glue them. I think it's uh, good enough. And then, like I said, yeah, there are two holes over here for you to put your M3 screws or a small lock nut, uh, uh, not, not lock screw if you have one. So this is uh, a simple uh, attachment over here. Yep. All right. So let's go to okay the uh, rails. So this is just something that I bought, so uh, basically just for me to grab it if I want to. So <coughs> let me just remove this. Oops. Okay. Alright, so I remove this. Now, uh, in the previous uh, design, over here, maybe I'll uh, show the previous one. Okay, it's, it's supposed to be like this, right? So this thing is actually not uh, locked into place, it's just uh, like this. And then uh, the separate rail will be here. So I realized uh, uh, the vibration is actually quite big. Okay, sometimes it will just, uh, because it's so so, so vigorous, uh, that you, you just move a little bit. So uh, what I did was I wanted something that uh, will be uh, keep in place. So this is what I came out with. Something like that. All right. Okay. So now there is a lock nut over here. Okay. You can uh, just. Okay. Even if you do not have the uh, sorry the lock screw, uh, it should be fine. All right. And you just push it out, and you you can remove it. So this this guy is actually logging this uh, mother piece over here. So you just push it out. 
okay so just now this uh, screw over here is actually aligned to this this thing over here okay so you just just a little bit will do you will keep it in place and then this uh, of course you just uh, it's like an extension you just remove and then you get the pieces out so something like this right so you lock it up uh, nicely you won't move <coughs> So this is another piece. All right. So now come back to the uh, top reel. So again, this is the uh, red dot side that I bought. So this the party stuff. Okay. So again, when you have this top reel, so you realize that it is at an uh, angle. Okay. Because I I I realize that now if I want to aim something, if I put this flat like this, although some of the sides you can adjust it though to to tilt, but uh no often is not enough for things like this that is so small so I, I put put it at an angle so when we aim we, we are actually tilting the blaster a little bit I find it is, is much easier to configure to, to for the red dot side to to, to to be useful right okay so it's at an angle so again there's a lock nut okay Okay, I think if you don't have, you can just use a little bit of uh, maybe white glue or something to make it secure, and uh, that's it. Okay, okay, so you can just you you have to probably lift this up. Okay, to push it. Okay, and then out out it comes. So you do something like this. Okay, and then last uh, but not least is this. Well, this is actually not my design. This is by a uh, model called fly fly gunner uh, so I will link the um, thing give us a link in the description as well as uh, when I post this up so this is a very nice Mac well okay flash flash very well okay you still have access to a release and it's just you no know, friction fit and you come off like this okay so uh, the rest will be the uh, wheels and the uh, cage and the barrel uh, which I designed to use the worker inner barrel but anyway uh, this will be released um, after I test the system more vigorously yeah so uh, so all this will be released on my thing givers uh, link is in my description so I'm Tungsten uh, so this is a project update uh, if you have not subscribed and you like the content do subscribe uh, if you can please hit the like button I think it will help my YouTube algorithm <laughs> so uh yes so uh, thanks for watching bye